everybody how's it going and I think I'll just do a little short video on what I do when I speed paint Photoshop and basically I think I'll cover my brushes and for most speed paints I like to keep things really stupid and simple so for brushes these eight you see up here are pretty much all the ones I use so I got a detailing brush like this just like a circle brush Another one that is probably a softer one. Let's see if I go here, I think it'll show the properties. Yeah, astrodiameter and hardness. So for the stipple brushes. It's pretty simple. Nothing too fancy. This one is actually a shape brush and it's just a triangle. But it produces a, it's kinda like using a marker. Use an effect like that if I set my tablet here soft. Probably see a little better. So I got a fine line brush, a slightly softer edge fine line brush. But it's larger. We got this brush. Oh, and I often use the brackets if I need bigger brushes so I don't need a whole bunch of sizes. I just use the brackets. And sometimes I'll cycle opacity with number keys or flow with the shift and number keys. But I just use the keyboard for it. Like I said, brackets for and bigger, smaller with the brush. Uh, what else do I have? Stipple style brush like this. And uh, another stipple style brush like that. What these are are pretty much the this one has scattered both axes like both axes. Shape dynamics, the size share, other dynamics, it's flow, airbrush smoothing. Back to my presets. This one, if I remember right, you go into brush tip space, brush tip shape. It has the spacing dialed way up, so it's less scattered but more spacing. Similar effect. There is scattering turned on though. Size jitter and cow jitter. Let's see these. An airbrush has to be turned on for that one, if I remember right. So. Well, what this, what these stipple style brushes are good for, I find it's not just painting effects like that or stuff like that. But if you put on a smudge tool, you can put it on a smudge tool at the low strength setting. And it pretty much gives you a really nice blending brush, like so. It's so, so a regular brush if you try to blend with it. Like this one down. It's going to be really weak, kind of. But if you do a stipple brush and you blend, you get a really strong blend like that and you can just blur it out. Same thing with this one, it's a little bit finer. You blend it. And it gives you a uh, smooth toting and stuff. It's kind of like using a stump when pencil drawing or something. Same kind of idea. Maybe a little bit of a sponge when doing watercolors. Or just a wet brush. It's a similar effect to that. So you get really nice blends. <laughs> Let's just do her other brush. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Shift zero top control zero. There we go. Let's see. 
need some like blending colors here like this. Wanna blend them, you just go that. Or actually you want it in smudge first. And you want the strength setting fairly low for this because the airbrush mood and stuff keeps the stuff laying going. Blend your colors like so. You can do it at a higher strength, but it's really fast and ridiculous. And it's even more noticeable. Just at a low setting, it's much more smoother blend. It's a stupid little trick I learned along the way. I think I picked it up from somebody else, of course, but it's a cool one for blending. And nothing special to that. But by having, keeping myself limited to what brushes I use, it's like, there's less indecisiveness. It's like, do I want that one, or this one, or that one? No, I just got like under a dozen to choose from, and it's like, oh, I know what each one's used for, and I don't have to screw around trying to make up my mind. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much that's it. Cool, huh? Alright, nothing too fancy. <laughs> this is a real stupid overview, it's like you don't have to be too fancy with the brushes. I like to have tab there. Usually when I do work, I do this mode here, and you know, tab stuff off. And, and I have the whole full screen to work on instead of just the window. Alright. Very simple, it's just a few minor tips, like if you're painting real quick in Photoshop and trying to get a more painter style, and you're wondering, how do I have that? So, well, <laughs> that's the obvious way to do it. At least to me. Alright.